Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to show you how to run DayZ in single player again, but this time we're gonna be using a batch file. So step number one is to launch Steam and we're gonna do a search for DayZ and DayZ server. So come here to the library, make sure you've got tools selected in your, as one of your search options. Put in DayZ. Okay, and there's DayZ server and DayZ game. Make sure you've got both installed. Okay, but just come back down to server and then we're going to do a right click and we're going to go to manage and now we're going to go to browse local files and here we have the main daisy server directory and the first thing we're going to do is edit the server dz.cfg config file so let's just do a right click edit and i'm just going to change the host name here to the usual pitkilts domain and we'll do a save. I can just close this out. Right, so the next step is to create the actual batch file that we use to launch the server. And we do that by just going to the bottom of this video, clicking on more here in the description, and then we'll select all of this, because this is a rather nifty template that I've included for you. Copy, okay, and then remember to save it as, we don't actually have to save it as hipkelp bat, but we're gonna go back to the folder and we just do a right click, new text document. I'm just gonna click on that, paste it in, and I'm gonna save it as hipkelp dot, and this is the important bit, bat, which makes it a batch file. Hit save, and there we go. Right, so we only need to make one change here, and that's to set the server location. So just uh, get rid of that for a second. Come back here to your main directory of where the server file is, well, the config file. Come here, copy the address, bring this back up, and highlight this. And paste. There we go, oh, and don't forget this other backslash. That's all you really need to do. And we can save it, and we're ready to go. It's at this point that if you like, you could create a shortcut of the batch file to put it on your desktop, and you could launch the server from there if you like. I tend not to bother, but if you want to, you just have to do a right click on here and create shortcut, and then just, as I say, move this over to your desktop. But I'm gonna get rid of it because I never use it. So now let's just launch the server by double clicking on the batch file. As you can see, it's already running. I'm gonna bring this up in a second, if I can. Click on here and lower this. These are all the instructions for the server. We'll just have to wait a bit. Once we see the entering in save process message, we can launch the game. So let's go back to Steam, back to Daisy, hit play, play. Right, now we go to servers, go to LAN. There's my server, we'll just join. Nothing there, so keep current selection and join. Right, and here we are in single player DayZ, which was launched using a batch file. So if you've got any questions, ask me in the comment section down below. It's pretty simple, I think you'll agree. But um, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe because in our next video, I'll be showing you how to install mods.